Conferência de imprensa com o Nicolas Moreno de Alborán, o primeiro jogador a avançar para a final deste Braga Open. Nicolas, uh, congratulations. Another great day for you today, for to the final. First of all, how are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling very happy. Uh, it was a very tough match. I think the guy uh, plays very, very well, very similar to me. Um, so it was a very physical, long match. Um, but I'm just very happy that I was able to stay in the match during the, the important moments and um, I'm happy to, to have gone to win. Almost three hours of play uh, and you were not a match point but two points away from defeat in the second set. What was the key for you to turn it around? Just believing and keep fighting to the end. You never know what's around the corner so that's something that uh, we take very serious in our team. Uh, my coaches always tell me to, to keep fighting, to, to keep pushing myself and to keep improving. Um, so, just believing that there's going to be another opportunity um, down the road, so yeah, just, just fighting, fighting, fighting. I believe until the 3-1 the in the second set, the, the first time you broke it, I believe you didn't have a break point until that moment. What do you think that changed in that moment to turn around the, the semi Um Just trying to find my game and trying to um, imposed my game on him, so he was serving well and he was playing very aggressive and he was making very little mistakes, um, so I just tried to improve what I was doing, hit with more length, uh, be more aggressive and try and dominate the points and I was able to get my chances and I took them. In, in, you, you went to the, the net a lot in the, in the semi-final. Uh, is that something that you, you do normally? Is that, is that something that is part of, of your... Experience? Yeah, um, that's something that we work on a lot uh, in training sessions. Uh, my coaches tell me to, to, to be aggressive, to come to the net when the opponent's on the stretch. So um, I try and do that as best as I can. Um, obviously sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But in the long run I believe that being aggressive and coming to the net is going to uh, win me the match, so I try and do that. And I believe in the first round, you, you save a couple of set points against Kungaliti. You were break down a couple of times in, the, in your matches. What, the, what did those uh, comebacks mean uh, about you? What did, did those comebacks uh, tell about, about you and uh, your opponents? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel like I, I mean, I love tennis and I love to be out there on the court. Um, I love competing. This year it's been very tough for me. I tore my abdominal two times. Um, I've had injuries, so um, being here and being able to compete, I don't take it for granted. Um, it's something that I enjoy a lot. So if if I have to be on the court for three hours, then I will I will do it because I, I love playing tennis and it's for me it's not not a job. You know, it's it's a game and I've I've always. Uh, taking it that way, so I'm just very thankful that my body is holding up, that I'm injury free, and that I'm able to compete. Being from the States, but also from Spain, and with your family and everything, who did you look up to when growing up? Uh, American players, Spanish players? Uh, I have to say, obviously, the big three. <laughs> who doesn't look up to them? You know, um, obviously, Nadal being from Spain and my family, I think I've watched a lot of his videos, a lot of his matches, but obviously the way Djokovic and Roger Federer play, how can you not uh, look at them and idealize them, you know? So um, I would say that Dominic Team also is someone that I've always uh, watched and keep watching his matches because I think he, I played pretty similar to him, you know, trying to use your forehand and, and dominate with your forehand. So. Um, I think those guys are, are the ones that I look at the most. Were you watching last night? Of course, yeah. <laughs> it's a sad day for tennis, but at the same time, as Federer said, you know, it's a celebration and it's, it should be. So it's sad to see him go, but at the same time, he's given us so much that we're going to be thankful for, for what he's given to the sport. And, and I believe you, you played college tennis. What do you think those years uh, bring to your game and your personality? I think they make you 
grow a lot as a, as a player, as a person. Uh, you have to be able to manage school, uh, academics and tennis, so they make you very independent and uh, very disciplined. And I think that it's, it's allowed me to become more professional when preparing for matches and when recovering uh, for matches, you know, being able to uh, just be very disciplined uh, when it comes to training, to working out, um, and then obviously all the people that you meet and um, that you interact with in college uh, helps you grow as a person. So um, I'm very thankful for, for what my school gave me, UCSB um, in California, and um, I, I enjoyed my, my years there a lot, so yeah. And obviously there is many ways to get to the top, but do you think that to, to, to get to the college it was the best road to do? For me, yes. For me, I, I wasn't able to compete a lot when I was young. I didn't play many junior tournaments. So for me, it was an opportunity to go and play a lot of matches. Play matches every weekend and I think that's uh, why I went. And I ended up doing that and it made me uh, a better player and showed me how to compete and how to enjoy competing as well. I should know this, but when was it your college here? I graduated 2019. 2019, so did you cross path with Porches? Yes, Porches? yes. We never played each other um, in college, but we always saw each other at tournaments and I, I, I really like you know, he's, he's a really nice guy, uh, very down to earth and um, yeah, he's a great player and, and I always enjoyed watching his matches and what he did in college was spectacular, so um, I wish him the best. And tomorrow, second final in the ATP Challenger Tour. Uh, the, the first one it was not so, so good for you, I believe you had match points yes. against the Gilly Gomez. What do you think you had to do differently uh, tomorrow? I don't think I have to do much uh, different than what I did in, in Ecuador. I think at the end of the day in Ecuador I played well because I ended up having match points. So to get to that point I think I, I did uh, play good tennis. But um, you know, that's, that's tennis sometimes. It, you don't get over the line, um, but tomorrow I'll, I'll treat it like any other day. Um, I'll, I'll try and do my best and hope for the best. What do you know about uh, Mateusz? I I played him a couple yeah. uh, a couple years or oh, last year, sorry. Yes, yeah. um, but yeah. honestly, I don't really uh, remember much from the match. I know he's pretty talented. He has good hands. Um, he's a great guy of court. I really get along with him. We're good friends. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. It should be a good match. Are you going to watch something or do you leave that to your coach? And your I leave that to my coach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm going to now enjoy Braga. It's an amazing city with really nice people. So, um, I'm just going to disconnect, get my mind out of tennis a bit, and uh, I'll let my coach do that. And do you see any of you? Uh, you guys uh, as a favorite for, for tomorrow? I don't think so. I think it's 50-50 and uh, yeah, whoever plays better will win. One last, last, last question, sorry. Uh, I believe you, 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 you won a title in Portugal uh, before uh, yeah. the 2025 20, Italian? Uh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So second in Portugal. Uh, do, do you like to play in Portugal, I guess? Yeah, I mean it's <laughs> It's very similar to, I live in Madrid and it's very similar to Spain. Um, I love coming here, the weather is great, the food is very good, the people are very nice. It's very similar to, to Madrid, so, um, and it's pretty close, so I feel at home here. I, I like, I enjoy coming here. Okay, thank you very much. Good luck. Obrigado.